Hi, everybody. Melissa Herp here, the plus size tarot chick. So, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. We are almost close to a thousand subscribers. I mean, wow, thank you so much, everybody, for all the love and support. I appreciate it. I just started this channel in May and it has grown so much, and I am just overwhelmed. And I just want to thank you. So, I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. So today I'm wearing some <laughs> compression gloves. So it's been, it's been a crazy journey with YouTube. So I'm going to get to the bottom of this. And a news article came out. I believe it was The Sun. When I find it, I will post the link in the description box below. And I saw how... Thomas Markle actually started a fight back with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry branding them as hypocrites. And, ooh, there is some hot water going on right now. And things are getting heated. So, the first thing I want to ask and what came to mind is I wanted to do this tarot um, question. Why doesn't Meghan Markle want to see her father? Is it actually with the Queen's order? Is it actually just because of all the stress and pressure she's under? Because there, you have to really look at the situations from both parties. And I'm always neutral with every reading because, I, you know, the cards don't tell me what I like to hear the cards say what they do. And now I saw a comment below saying I manipulated the cards. No, I don't. It just saves time from showing the shuffle because actually, <laughs> you know, it, it cuts time down quite a bit. And pe some people don't have time, you know, watching 20 to 40 minute vi videos. <laughs> I mean, that's why I try to keep it under 20 minutes because I know your time is precious. My time is precious. Everybody's time is precious. So it's important to also remember that creators all learn and most of us take feedback into consideration and we keep it and keep our minds open. And that's what a creator does is to keep your mind open, our mind open open because if not and if you're highly sensitive then that's when that's my personal opinion that's when a person should not be a creator when they start getting taking things everything and comments personally so I'm going to show that I shuffle, but no, I do not manipulate the card. I actually keep it under a certain time limit because, again, I know your time's precious and I know my time is precious. And I will actually show today with how I shuffle the cards and ask the questions. And I don't speed up um, and I won't speed it up today. So I'll just keep it. I'll just keep it casual today. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to ask the question first. Why does Meghan Markle not want to see Thomas Markle? Hmm. And I clear the cards and I got this wonderful tip from this channel, Tarot by Janine. And I always, I find her inspirational. I love her channel to pieces and I'm always watching. She always has the best questions and everything. So if you haven't checked her out, check out Tara by Janine. She is a great reader and I've learned a lot from her as well. So, you know, another tip I got is if uh, from her, I have to give credit to her, is if you actually use a candle, um, you can hold a, you can hold your tarot cards over a candle and that actually helps clear energy as well. You don't have to burn sage. If you want to, you want to. If you don't, you don't. It's your preference. There are many ways people do, but I ended up getting some white candles and 
light them during my tarot readings, especially doing videos, because some of these, some of these energies that I go into with these readings are pretty dark. And it's so important to just clear your energy and just have a calm peace of mind when everything is done. Because like I said, it's just, you know, it's unbelievable with how much shenanigans has been happening. So we're going to ask the question first. Why is Meghan Markle not having a relationship with her father? Because you finally see him actually fighting back and good. But keep in mind that both both situate both parties have their own reasons and there is one there's not one side everything has an explanation and you have to approach everything with an open mind because you know, she's human cut her some slack i know i'm going to get hounded but people who are humans nobody's perfect so It's just important to actually keep an open mind when it comes to all questions, because if not, it's, you don't really see a clear picture, you know, it's just like a canvas when you're actually, you know, when, when an artist starts from scratch and has a vision and doesn't know how to start, maybe one thing will maybe one object or one event or one memory would be inspirational and that's when the artist starts getting inspiration and starts taking that canvas and start drawing or painting his or her masterpiece and the thing is we all are energy right and we all have masterpieces to actually to actually complete and that's what this life is this life here on earth because life here is definitely where on this earth plane we are actually not um you know we're not here forever but it's important to learn from our mistakes and evolve and go on and another thing is some don't learn from mistakes unfortunately and some learn don't learn from mistakes unfortunately and that's quite sad to be honest we have the page of wands and i'm going to actually lay out the cards this card came up again I just got this card right before I started this video. Because sometimes I draw cards to randomly get a clear aspect of the picture. And I do it this way here so you guys can see. And we have the Page of Cups reversed and the on the bottom of the deck so when you look at the bottom of the deck it's like the meat and sandwich type of the situation i had to think of it so we have the page of wands here pages are very young sometimes a feminine energy and also female this is in the reverse position pages are usually learners and creating something new and develop or developing new skills. But in this type of situation, this is the center of the situation. And we have, have this page of wands here. And it doesn't have to be about a person. It can also be an influence and the meaning of this card is usually communication but it's in the reverse so there's not a lot of communication 
in this card. So in the reverse, this has delays. Anything with a reverse is usually blocks and delays in an event. And emails and communication gets complicated. And also with this, the theme of the conversation with with between Meghan Markle and Thomas Markle is communication, stubbornness, and also an ability to listen to others. So let's get a feel of the cards and feel of the cards. So we'll walk bit by bit. So we have here, what is crossing the center of the situation? So we have a man here. We have two, we have three, two swords down and a guy holding one sword in his hand and caressing the other two, holding him up, his swords up with pride. And how you see the smirk on his face because he's won the battle, but did he honestly win the war? He could be happy, but look at the other two behind him. He's just you know, they're burned out. They are just, you know, they went through a lot more burden and a lot of sacrifice more than he did. So basically this is saying is intuitively that if you, you won the bottle bottle, if you won the battle, but not the war, and because this is crossing, this has to do with walking away, recovering, but your self-respect is lost in itself because, look, you see a guy sitting here with, you know, caressing two swords up over his left shoulder, and you have one down, and you have that smirk again on his face, and you have the two men back here grieving because of struggles with struggling because they been through so much hardship with the battling and with the battle and fighting there is constant fighting this has to do with a lot of conflict with communication so there's a lot of conflict with communication that's what the page is the page reversed and there's a lot of delays there has to do with a lot of disappointment and this is Thomas, basically, I'm getting, this is Thomas Markle fighting back saying, hey, you know, I want to see my grandson and let me look at the other cards and interpret better. So we have the tower, which is a major arcana. It's in the reverse position. When it has, when it's the tower, it has to do with a life event that is going to wake and shake somebody's life up and will actually change them forever. If you see on the bottom here, it's actually underneath the center of the card, which is the, it's, it's not Wait. Okay. Let me explain it this way. You have grass, right? You have grass and you have plants, but there's a process to everything and you have to, take the time and delicacy to do it right, to grow that plant right, because you want to make the proper steps in order to have that plant flourish and be a beautiful plant or be beautiful grass. And it has to do with roots. It has to do with seeds. It had, it, there's all this process, right? But because there is no care in the world, there's no care in the world with communicating and also with the aggressiveness and the situation alone. It's, it's destruction. There's going to be a destruction of not doing the proper what's right because if not 
Karma is always funny in a way because it will bite you in the butt if you don't look, have an open mind. And this message for with the tower is to say surrender, be patient. And this is somebody who's feeling vulnerable, confused. And intuitively, I'm getting both of them are confused because maybe... The queen is ordering Meghan Markle to not have communications with her father because of, you know, secrets and also what, you know, what is actually in the, in the foundation of the family secrets and what is underneath it all. So they want to keep a closed book and not have a lot of things get out because they have a fear of if they bring in Thomas Markle, okay, they are not, he is going to maybe sell stories to the tabloids or tell somebody that he is not supposed to tell. And then what's going to happen? I'm not saying, I'm not going to say what's happened, what doesn't happen, but you know, they'll, they don't want things to happen like that. And that's what I'm getting. I'm getting intuitively that the queen is actually ordering Meghan Markle to not have communication with the father. And here we have the recent past and we have the three, four, five, six. We have the eight of wands reversed. Wands have to do with quickness, just like swords. And this has to do with news and travel. It's in the reverse position, so it, there's a delay. Remember, reversals are always delays and are the opposite of the upside of the card. So this card is communication. This goes right to the center. It's communication. There's a lot of miscommunication happening. And there is disappointment from Meghan Markle's, um, from Meghan Markle's dad of her not contacting Thomas Markle. And isn't there a letter or something that was happened in the tabloids and it was exposed? I don't know if it was the sun did Meghan Markle write a letter to Thomas Markle? I'm not sure. Comment below and let me know. Because I keep getting the word dearest daddy. I I don't know what that is about. But if, if there is something about that, please comment below. <laughs> because that's what I'm picking up. If there are cards such as the lovers reversed... It would say the potential relationship is not getting off the ground anytime soon. And twos are usually unions. So anything with twos is a union, but it depends on the laying layout of the card. And again, yesterday or today, I released a video and said, here, here's the hermit. Yeah, this is the surface. This is another major arcana. And then we have on the bottom here, which is the foundation, is the major arcana. So the hermit here, you're actually going to, it's saying that you need to rest. You need to rejuvenate. You need to get away from everything and reevaluate your aspects in life because, and relationships in that matter, because if not, worse things are going to happen and you're going to have that tower moment. So you see the people here, you see the crown and you see the fire coming out and the two people are falling out of the window. I mean, that's exactly what's going to happen. So it's in the upright position. So there has to be healing from conflicts of miscommunication. Let's look at what the actual person here. 
this is actually, I'm picking up Make and Markle. This is actually pentacles here. Pentacles mean money and security. And you see a woman here wearing luxury clothes and having a bird on her hand, on her left hand, you know, self-reflecting and reminiscing and wanting to reminisce and actually paying you know earn what she has and say it's okay it's okay to it's okay to have financial stability and this is what Meghan Markle is having is financial stability and I'm getting intuitively and this feels like that she doesn't want to lose that so when it comes to this aspect and these events so the material objects the material objects that actually are in effect actually will financial stability so Meghan Markle has financial stability and is spending money and proud of having the comfort and the accomplishments and then this feels like she's fearful of losing that. So intuitively, though, I'm getting the queen ordered this. And this means you have to you have to have a balance, though, a balance between money, security, finances, and also relationships. And the thing is. The thing is, though, you have to focus on within because on this earth plane, okay, on this earth plane, we all learn to be here on earth. We all, we, we learn to live on earth. We learn to breathe. We learn from our mistakes. We humans make plenty of mistakes. Many have skeletons in their closet, but it's important to actually have the relationships to and you must have the relation i'm trying to think of the right wording you must have the right mindset and have the right intentions to to find that balance and be in communication again that's the thing that's what this feels like. So let's look at the environment. We have the Knight of Pentacles reversed here. Knights are fighters. Pentacles are money and security. This has to do with improving prosperity. But overall... It's important to, there has been a lot of mismanagement of money and also misleading advice. So this is a fear of, this feels like that this is a fear of making a sacrifice to contact her father. This is the energy right now. I'm not saying it won't change in the future, but this is right now because of all the events that have happened, even with going back and forth, it has to be this is a lot of dishonesty from both parties and more so with Meghan Markle. I think Meghan Markle flipped because with Meghan Markle, there was a lot of stories that have happened that has flipped around and there's a lot of dishonesty and because of being materialistic and afraid of losing money, status, and power that she is being dishonest and being conflicting and it could be from tabloids and it could also be having misleading stories but this is the hopes and fears 
in a major arcana, this happened again. Another karma wheel. Upright, it stands for the natural events in life. Reverse, that means, again, is flipping the wheel and doing magic to take advantage of the situation. But the question asked that keeps popping in my mind and this feels like is because of flipping the karma wheel and doing magic to doing magic to get status title and money is it really worth it i don't know where that came from but okay <laughs> I, I don't know. Let's look at the near future and see what... Okay, we have in the recent future, which is in three... Up to three months. There's a lot of... There's going to be a lot of heartache and pain. And with the wands, with the swords, not anytime soon that there's going to be communication because there's going to be a lot of issues happening because you see the three of swords here and it's diving into the heart and that causes a lot of pain that causes a, a lot of conflict and this has to do with pain heartbreak so they're both thomas markle is very heartbroken by this and also, there's a lot of disloyalty because of the disloyalty that has happened, especially for Meghan Markle. It's really put a knife to her father's heart and is a lot, a lot of pain, a lot of pain. But intuitively, I am getting the queen may have ordered Meghan Markle not to contact Thomas Markle or the family to actually... to not let secrets come out that's what i'm picking up and then here we have the long-term future which is we have the six of wands upright which has to do with has to do with victory this is a beauty of rebirth so when this card is upright there is going to be communication again but it's not going to be for at least over a year that's what i'm picking up when it comes to it's very good news but there is a lot of patience that needs to happen and a lot of events have to play out and i'm sorry you need to stop flipping the karma wheel around because if you don't hell's gonna break loose and it karma is really going to bite you in the butt i'm just saying so again let's review we have the page of cups here this has to do with a lot of miscommunication crossing is the five of swords upright there's a lot of burden behind the scenes and you see a man sitting there that winning the battle and the war, but was it really worth it? There's a lot of smugness that is happening. We have the tower here underneath. This has to do with transitions on the upright, but in the reverse position, you have you still have conflict and you still have a lot of aspects that are going to happen. But here we have the eight of ones reversed and this is the recent past. So this has to do with delays, a lot of blocks and it's important to hold off from the blocks and 
And these are petty arguments going back and forth between them. You have to self-reflect. You need to take a time out and a breather. This is what the hermit's saying. You need to think and you need to reevaluate relationships because here there's a lot of heartache. Three of swords with the heart pierced. There's a lot of heartache because of money insecurity. There's dishonesty because of the wheel, the karma wheel flipped around. And, but at the end, there is going to be victory, but it's not going to happen until over a year. So that's what I get. Let me get some clarifier cards to be sure if I'm getting is right. Clarifier for will Thomas Markle ever have communication with Meghan Markle again? Will Meghan Markle ever have communication with Thomas Markle again? Will Meghan Markle have communication with Thomas Markle again? I have short hands, so let me do it this way. Ugh. Will Meghan Markle will have communication with Thomas Markle again? Will Meghan Markle ever have communication with Thomas Markle again? This one flipped right out. Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, which this is stand for beginnings. Pentacles stand for materialistic things here on earth. This has to be new beginnings. This is what this card confirms. This has to do with contentment, maybe. Thomas Marco will have to manifest a meeting with his daughter. But I'm feeling like this, there's going to be money. There's going to be money involved and a good chunk of money for stability. This is getting back into... No, making him be quiet because he's speaking up again. That's what I'm picking up. Let me get another, another clarifier card, please. Another clarifier card. Another clarifier card. Another clarifier card. Another clarifier. Okay, this one keeps popping up. Strength reversed, and let's do one more. One more card, please. Yep. All right. So we have the Ace of Pentacles here, which is a beginning, new beginnings, and this has to do with money and security, probably giving Thomas Markle money in the media to be quiet. Um. I'm being blunt because this is what's coming through. We have the strength in the reverse because you see a woman here with the lion that is petting and reminiscing. It's remembering to actually have and remember and be grateful for what you have. This is actually saying here, here in these cards, there is a blockage. There's a delay with strength and with in strength and your inner strength you will find your purpose and there will be a relationship but it's not going to happen anytime soon and 
you have to ride the wave and you have to let things work out as they work because karma is supposed to. That's if the karma wheel is stops being flipped around and stop flipping the karma wheel around. It's so annoying. I don't get why she keeps doing that because it's really making her fuck up. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <sighs> and this means a timeout it needs to be enforced and this is you need to self-reflect and take time away for your responsibilities from responsibilities to think of the different events that have happened and what has caused a lot of damage And you see a guy here with luxury clothes. And this was in the reverse position. This has to do with talent is wasting because of Thomas Markle not being heard. That's why he went to the media to be heard and to, hey, listen up. But, but Meghan Markle and the royal family is probably going to pay him off. From this is what the Ace of Pentacles is getting. But you must find the strength to be patient and let the karma wheel keep turning if they don't stop the if they don't stop using magic to reinforce karma to have it their specific way because it always bites them in the butt and it comes back worse so you have the four swords reversed which is a guy that needs to rest and probably is really tired and stressed out from all the conflicts that has happened so this is remember this is saying that there are a lot of people who have wronged and a lot of people are not listening and Meghan Markle is not listening. And this is Thomas Markle saying, going in the media saying you are a bunch of branded, a bunch of hypocrites. So that's what I'm getting. This is what I see in the cards. This is what I'm picking up intuitively. Share your thoughts below and remember to like, subscribe, share, and say hey in the comments. We're almost to a thousand. So I'm all excited. I'm very excited for this. So I don't care if I'm wearing these compression gloves today because they are comfortable as heck. And like I said, I, with me having medical conditions, I need to have gloves to help grip easier. Sometimes I need them. Sometimes I don't. It just depends on the day because I do suffer from chronic pain from physical limitations. So that's another aspect of the situation. But yeah, share your thoughts below and let me see how, let me look at one more thing before I go. I'm going to use the angel prayers from, by Kyle Gray. I've been really hooked onto these cards, but it just stinks because I don't like the card stock on this because it's crappy card stock and he needs to up his game with his damn card stock. Lord, I am so over these cheap ass card stocks. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but it is beautiful artwork, right? But this chart card stock is cheap as heck okay get better card stock if you're watching kyle gray <laughs> so i'm going to mix up the cards i'm going to vertical shuffle so any healing messages for thomas markle and then i'll do mega markle next any healing messages for thomas markle any healing messages for thomas markle any healing messages for Thomas Markle? Any healing messages for Thomas Markle? Yeah. 
Yeah, see what I mean? They're just sticky. All right. Healing messages for Thomas Markle. All right, we have Archangel Zinke, um, Zadkel, which is for supporting me to transform from my past challenges. So this is saying in the past, there is there was a lot of transformations and this is from the Marco family. Actually, they are kind of celebrities and I'll to be honest. And because of Meghan Markle meeting Prince Harry and actually not giving them a heads up, they went through a lot of transformations because of being hounded by the media having a lot of bad media um, and press articles in the cover and the online. So let's look at next study and learning. Thank you angels for allowing me to see that every day is a learning day. So it doesn't have to be specifically going back to school, getting your college degree and doing a craft is basically saying because of a transformation, you're still evolving. You have to study and learn from every life aspect. Because if not, this is another card, which is the spirit animal. Thank you, Animal Kingdom, for blessing my path with love. So this has to do with spirit with spirit spirit animals this has to do maybe getting a pet maybe finding love through maybe love through getting a pet getting some type of animal to do something with animals that's basically what it says animals are very very comforting you know cats or dogs any type of companion is so important because it's important to even nature get out in nature and be grateful for every little thing that happens if you hear a bird chirp thank the thank the universe for the bird because it's a beautiful chirp sound Sometimes you want to knock them upside the head, but that's all that. But And then trust your inner voice. Thank you, angels, for guiding me through my inner voice. There is going to be a lot of events that are going to happen, and karma and natural laws will happen, and you just have to be patient. Let me see what the next card is trustworthy friends and you must have stick with your friends that you trust stick with your family that you trust and loved ones be peaceful and forgive you must be thankful and ask for forgiveness Forgive yourself and also forgive her for what she's done and also express your creativity. Was he a creator, some type of creator? Did he work on sets or something? Comment below because I'm getting, I'm getting in my head a, that he worked behind the scenes with stages comment below because i'm not sure what that's about but that's what i have here let's look at the bottom yeah 
signs from heaven. Heaven is with him. So thank you, heaven, for sending me reminders of your presence. So it's important to really trust the universe. And this is confirming to be patient. You must, because of transformations that are happening, being bombarded with the media, but you also have to study and learn and be patient and be grateful for the little things around you, such as animals. You know, that's what I get, like taking a walk out and actually the little things in life. But you must listen to your inner voice and not hold back. But you must have trustworthy friends to actually get through things and it doesn't have to be specifically friends it has to be family you can you have to be friends with yourself because if you're not then nobody else is going to be your friend you must be at peace right now you must hold off you need to stop with the whole with the whole issues right now because you have found your voice you have said stuff in the media but you need to hush hush now but this is but with the universe the miracle of forgiveness does happen because you have to forgive yourself but you must forgive her because even though you might want to swallow you might want to cringe but it's important to not not keep fighting, fighting, fight because and not have that anger in your heart because if you do, it's going to cause a lot of controversy and it's not going to be in your favor and maybe hold back. And also at the end, you have to express your creativity, express something that you love doing. And remember, the universe is watching. So... That's why I have comment below your thoughts and that's it. And let me do Meghan Markle next. I keep saying that's it, <laughs> but let me do Meghan Markle. What messages do you have for Meghan Markle? Meghan Markle. Okay. I don't want all those cards. Oh, thanks. Meghan Markle, what's the prayer messages? What does the heavens want to send? Speak right now and shine your presence through these cards. I don't like these. I love the card. I don't like the cardstock. It's crappy cardstock. All right. You must use your spiritual gifts. This keeps popping out. You must use your spiritual gifts for the good and not using them to turn around the karma wheel because it's not going to work in your favor. You need to stop. Is it really going to be worth the price? Because everything is crumbling. I'm just saying, okay, this one popped out too. Again, forgiveness. You must ask for forgiveness. She needs to forgive herself. She needs to also forgive her father. Otherwise, there's going to be an ongoing battle. And it's not going to end. And it's not going to end pretty. Yep. All right. Must get out in nature. Okay. You need to start using your spiritual spiritual gifts for the good. You need to stop doing the evil deeds and stop doing turning the karma wheel. There are different specific There are different specific ways to manifest, but doing evil is not good. Miracle of forgiveness, you need to forgive yourself and your father. The miracle of nature, you need to start reconnecting 
and get, getting some fresh air and stop worrying about what everybody else thinks. You need to connect with yourself again doing yoga. You need to stop with the conflicts and with all of the hypocrisy and all of the fakery. Yeah, move your body. You need to motivate yourself to get back on track and get yourself in a positive. At least with, at least, you no, know, before getting into the royal family, she actually had a, you know, she, you know, she had a good life. But, I mean, is it really worth it now because of the status, title, and power? I mean, are you able to sleep at night? That's what I'm picking up. I don't know why. I'm getting like a... I'm very angry. Yep. Energy. You need to trust and have the signs... You must have the guidance and signs. You have to be patient. If not, nothing is going to work out. This one popped up. And you need to have spiritual support. You need to be, yeah. I've said in another reading too, and if you go back to one of my royal readings in my playlist, you actually will see in one of my videos back then where I said that her past her life here on earth is actually for um to evolve spiritually because she I've said it in many videos, she's a master manifester and she is able to manifest physical things here on this earth plane by using her skills that she has with um manifesting so you need this is spiritual support this is evolving personally because you can have all the um you can have all the materialistic things here and still not be happy you must have you must evolve spiritually and she needs to stop ignoring that because if not it karma is not going to be happy and nature will not be happy the universe will not be happy and it's probably the universe is probably not happy anyways so i'm going to pull one more card and that will be it all right this one popped out all right leap of faith you need to take a leap of faith and you have to honor your feelings and Count your blessings. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Yep. You must stop using your spiritual gifts and use it for the good and stop flipping that karma wheel around because it is going to bite you in the butt. You must forgive yourself and also forgive Thomas Markle for what he's done. You both aren't perfect. You need to stop. Even though the queen ordered for you to not, the queen ordered you to not, um, the queen ordered you to not have communication with the family and only for a specific time. You must get out in nature and you must start evolving again. And you need to move your body with yoga because you were very, you were very in balance when you had yoga in your life. And for some reason, I'm feeling that Meghan Markle's not practicing it because this was the time where she was actually her best. And you have to have the patience and everything has to have balance. You must have spiritual support and you have to spiritually evolve and you must stop acting out. And start retali and stop retaliate retaliating with into the media and also with attacking others that don't agree with you. That's why nothing is working out. You must take a leap of faith. 
and you must trust the universe because you need to stop flipping that karma wheel around. You need to stop using magic to actually, you need to stop using magic to flip that karma wheel around and getting what you want because it's not going to work out. Okay, you take a leap of faith. You need to take a leap of faith. And not and stop overthinking. You must honor your feelings, even when you're hurt. And you have to admit it. You have to admit that you're human also. And you have to count your bless blessings. If not, you have to count your blessings. You have to shine your light. You have to be at peace with yourself. And... You have to find balance in what you love. Yoga, you have to spiritually evolve. Yeah. Here. Healthy body. And find your inner power. Because if not, it's not going to work out. Nothing, no matter how many times you manipulate, manipulate that karma wheel, it's not going to work out. And you need to stop. You need to stop it right now. That's what's going on. I'm Melissa Herb, the Plus Size Terror Check. Comment your thoughts below. Have a great day, evening, afternoon. Be well. Take care. Bye.